Hey guys, Vic here from Theme Park Chasers, and today I'm at SeaWorld Orlando, and today I'm not going to be doing an icebreaker construction update. Today I'm just going to do a normal vlog, and uh, we're, we're already leaving the park. Um, so, icebreaker is only a few track pieces away from being completed, and that uh, it's going to start testing soon, and it's going to be opening in spring of this year. And I cannot wait, especially since this is my, especially since this is my home park. So it's great that I'm finally getting the other coaster nearby me, and you got some other exciting attractions such as Manta, Kraken, and Mako, the three B and M's in the park. And my Kraken's starting to get a bit rough. It's kind of aging a bit, like it has the B and M rattle. Uh, Mako is running very well today, even though I got stapled by the ride up in front row which pretty much sucks, but it didn't really ruin the ride, and Manta, yeah, which I didn't ride today because it had a really long wait, which is kind of why I prefer, part, which I prefer, long as say is that I do prefer I coasters that are more in the back of the park, because then, like, it'll take more time for people to get there so that the lines aren't going to be as long, because if you put it in the front of the park, like, um, Cheetah Hunt at Bush Gardens Stand, but it's gonna get a long way because everyone's gonna go there first. But nonetheless, it's a fantastic coaster. And it's the only major roller coaster aside from Icebreaker that um, I didn't do a review on. I did do two reviews on Mako and Kraken, which my Mako review is, I think, the third review I've ever done. And my voice sounds very high pitched, that was before I hit puberty. And also, Kraken, I did a review um, last year. So yeah, it's very nice. It's also a nice sunny day. Um, where are you gonna leave to go home? And also, I heard rumors of the 2021 roller coaster, which is supposed to be rumored a being a wing coaster. And I did enjoy Gatekeeper and Wild Eagle. Well, Gatekeeper was kind of it was great, but I wouldn't say it's like the best coaster at Cedar Point. But at the same time, I heard rumors this could be like a launch wing coaster, like Thunderbird at Holiday World, or or maybe just a normal wing coaster like that goes over the lake right next to the Bayside Stadium. That, like where the Fester Passway is because there's not really a lot of things to do there aside from just walking. Like, uh, yeah, there's events and stuff there, but I'm not sure. Like, I think they need something there to bring crowds to that area. And also, Mako and the rest of the coasters um, get low weights along with Icebreaker right there. Thankfully, Icebreaker. Ice Wake will make me more excited for the other premier rides roller coasters such as uh, West Coast Racers at Six Flags Magic Mountain or um, maybe the older premier rides coasters like Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast at Six Flags over Texas and Six Flags St. Louis or um, the Spaghetti Ball coasters like Flight of Fear at Kings Island and Kings Dominion and Holter Guy Slash Joker Jeans at Six Flags yes, Texas and Six Flags in it. So, that's very nice. Yeah, also the Seven Seas Food Festival is going on, which is very nice. It's kind of like uh, SeaWorld's version of the Food and Wine Festival at um, Epcot. Well, it's not as like big or anything. It's still a very nice event. I do like events where you get to try different foods. It's, it is really nice to like try different things. So hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I will probably be returning to SeaWorld someday to maybe like try the Food Service 7 Seas Food Festival and also ride my favorite rides and coasters. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, hit the notification bell to be notified when I new video. Subscribe to Theme Park Chasers and stay tuned for more videos. Continue to Theme Park Chasers and I'll catch you guys next time.